Day one, activity two. Directions. Using the polyline feature, draw two rectangles. Rectangle A on this side should have a perimeter of 12 units. Rectangle B on this side should have a perimeter of 16 units. Each box below is one unit wide. So this entire thing right here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units wide. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to use the polyline feature. It's a great tool that helps you to draw shapes quickly and easily. So if you look up here at this, it's usually set to the normal line. So click on this little triangle and we're gonna to change to a different type of line. We're going to change to the polyline. Now that my cursor has become a little plus sign, I know it's ready to go. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. You're going to click wherever you wanna start your rectangle. Maybe I'll start it right here. I want a corner right there. So you click. Then you move your um, cursor. Notice it's connected. Move it to the next place you wanna have a corner of a rectangle. Maybe it's right there. Click your mouse again. And then move it to the next place you wanna have a corner. Maybe I'll do it right here. Click it again. Move it to the next place. I'm putting it right here because that is below my original. Once you get back to the original location, click it again and it will connect to create your shape. So there you go. I now have a rectangle. There's a couple things you can do if you wanna make your rectangle look a little different. So if you click on the rectangle, for example, if I go to this, I could change the thickness of the border. Right now it's a very thin border. Maybe I wanna make it a little thicker. Click on your rectangle. Maybe I wanna change the color of the border. Click here and choose a different color. And lastly, I could choose this and change how it's filled. So I'm gonna click on fill and I could make it a different color. One other thing you could do, click on your rectangle, I could make my fill transparent if I want, and that way I can still see all of the squares that were inside of my rectangle. You don't have to do that, but these are just ways to make it pretty. So remember, to use the polyline feature, you're gonna go up here. Right now it's set for polyline, but when you originally go to it, it's probably going to be set to a regular line. You switch it to polyline, you click everywhere that you wanna have a corner of your shape. I'm gonna make a non-rectangular shape this time. And it will create a shape for you. My shapes are not the correct answers. You want yours to have a perimeter of 12 units and a perimeter of 16 units. Good luck using the polyline tool.